I welcome you to the PDMS template, the PDMS software working environment. Now, if PDMS is launched into a system, you may have a general application. As you can see, general application is appearing here. On the general application, a design cannot be done on this platform. That means on general application. So, in PDMS, you design your equipment before the pipe. So, let's start. Let me take you to the equipment application working environment, which means you have to move out of the general application. You have to move out of this application. To do that, you go to design equipment. You can see the environment is showing equipment application as shown here. Equipment entails tanks, vessel, compressor, pumps, heat exchanger, and so on. Yeah, this is your design wall. You can expand this plus. You can see there is minus here. This plus means there are some things there, which is there, which have been expanded. This is when you want to delete an item, you use this. You use this icon, this delete icon. When you want to add, and after designing, you want to view your primitives or you want to view what you have designed. You click this. CE means current element. The word CE means current element. Add CE to draw list. Add current element, what you have designed to the drawing environment. Now, remove CE. That means remove what you have designed out of the drawing environment. You can add, you can remove. So, now, in PDMS, we have equipment application. We have a sequence taking to design a shade, a chronological shade that is used in PDMS when you want to design an equipment. So, the shade is from word. After word, you go to site. Word, W-R-O-L. You move to site. To move to site, you select the word I've done here. You come to create. You click site. A site is a location of a project. Let's give our site, site AA. Use capital letter. Let's use capital letter. Cap AA. Enter. You press your OK button. After site, you create a zone. You click create zone. Zone, you are going to call your, your zone equipment because it's a place where all your equipment will be installed. Why I call it equipment? Because that zone entails equipment, not pipe. If it's pipe you're going to install in that zone, you call it pipe. So I'm going to call it equipment. Enter. I'll click OK. After zone equipment, the next thing you go to create, you click equipment. Your equipment name. I want to design equipment D one two one. The drum. You can see. Then that is the name of the equipment. I'll come here. My name. I'll put D one two two one point zero because they have D one two. So I will not correlate. I will now come here. The, I will change this east to west because we don't have east on the GAD. I will click here. I will click this button. I'll clear oh, is giving taking me time. I'll clear, I'll change it to west. I'll come here. I will input this west value for the drum 312370. 312370. The north value is given as 294502. 294502. The up value for the drum, you check here. Give me a 106170. 106170. I will click OK. That is the position, the coordinate of the equipment, which is very important before you start your design. I will click OK. To check if I'm correct, my supervisor will select it here. We come to position and specificity. That means the value and input are well correct. I can dismiss. Dismiss. 